Good morning, one, and welcome back to A Hat in Time. I just, I, I just enjoy turning into the ice statue and bouncing on this. It's such small hops, and no matter which way you turn, that kid faces you. It's a bit weird. But we want to go to this next area. We're gonna open up um, the bedroom so we can finally get a good night's sleep. Power has been restored in the bedroom. The chapter Subcon Forest is now available. There's one more interesting thing, which is actually the reason we've got this hat on right now. Um, right over here, you can see there's a nice glowing light in there. We showed this earlier, but it is at Kid's secret base. Day 7. Oh my gosh, that big penguin DJ said I could be a star. I wonder what. I wonder if he means like a pop star. Wait, have you learned to sing? Maybe an internet star. No, no, a movie star. Major Groove says he's going to take care of all that stuff. I just have to show up on set, and I'm going to be famous. I can't wait. I just hope I don't have to say. The, the worries of all um, silent protagonists. Not having this thing. But we can enter the Subcon Forest. And there's already a time rift detected, because we got that one from... Um, I think this was completing the cows being abducted. Uh, so we can take a quick look. This is where it sits. We have no idea where this, we haven't seen the map anywhere, so contractual obligations time. Which, it looks this nice, nice ghost hanging out at the bottom of the Hat in Time logo. Contractual obligations. That's a long contract, all things considering. Because if we look at it, we're holding like the middle of it, it's way behind us. Nice little fire burning around everywhere. Good to know. Good to know. And we start right by a nice looking house. Nice relaxing house. Um, not much we can do with it though. Like right now we're limited by a bunch of fires that will hopefully be sorted out as we go. Also I've got to switch ads because I keep I keep using um, the ice ability when really, really I should be to. So we'll just sprint, that's going to give us a lot of distance. And I think we should have collected all these farms because, well, money. Uh oh. He's scared of us. Let's chase him. Oh. Oh, that isn't anything important. I thought it might be. I thought that nice block might be. We are caught in a trap. Which apparently we can get out of by just mashing the uh, X button, I guess. Uh, the, the umbrella button. Or, or not. Yeah, I guess we can't escape. Well, hello! How are you doing? Thanks for freeing us. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess, yeah, getting to live is probably a lucky thing. Oh, I guess. All right, the contract: clean out the subcon well, find subcon village, murder the spirits, and clean the subcon well. Following parts will be available. Act one and Act two. I'll be keeping the following hostage: your soul. But keep anything you find on the way. So we can zoom in, see all these interesting things. As we can see, one there are the fire spirits on the left, and the well must be on the right. I think we can do this. Ah, we've signed it, uh, assuming that says Hat Kid. Uh, 
Well, there goes our soul. You feel exceedingly empty inside. I don't know why I don't believe that. Yeah, and there's our contract, right next to our weapon. Interesting. But oh well, we can... Oh, we can sit in our... Actually, I kind of like this view. The nice, calm place in what should be a creepy forest, but... Honestly, I think it's a nice, relaxing area. Uh, I think we're running down the hill, so let's just continue going down. Oh. That looks new. Yes, I am well aware that the soft part of the fruit is sometimes called the flesh. When those two um, cherries that were for some reason connected to it um, blow up, we get this yarn, which is the Dweller Mask yarn. It requires 12 yarn to stitch. Uh, how close are we? We're at 10. So we'll get it soon, not quite as quickly as the ice have. can't pass into that area, so let's go. We've got to go the only way we can with these fires blocking off every other area. Huh. I guess it's time for the brewer's hat. Oh. Thought I hit that. I guess I did. But it looks like these graves are a perfect place to get a lot of ponds. Um, just don't worry necessarily about what you're doing. But I mean, seriously, if all of them give me like a hand, they give me this handful of bonds, I'm taking them. I mean, it's a little rude to pull up the graves, but I mean, it's free money. It's like grave robbing in games, which is usually not frowned upon. There are some games where they will come after you if you do. Not normally. This just reminds me of a wacky weaving inflatable arm tuna. That's all I can think of when I see that one. Oh, way over there. Must be, yep, the fire sprites. We were way too out of the range, so it tried to show us where to go. Oh, we, we found the village. That's nice. So if you ever need pawns, apparently just going around the outside of this village is a decent place to get them. There's almost certainly better places, but... Ooh, glowy. Who are you again? You working on any contract? Check it out! Those incredibly annoying fire spirits are sitting right there in the middle of my village. That doesn't sound that bad. Their little dance is creating these incredibly annoying barriers that stop me from getting the parts of my forest. It's almost like they're trying to put an end to me. How adorable. Aww. Dispose of them! I don't care how you do it, as long as they suffer for entering my domain. Anyways, back to work, trooper! This so yeah, we have to take out the fire spirits. I'll fire you real quick. Uh, which... I believe is just... Um... All right. Our bonfire needs more fuel. Only the finest as this fire spirit, this, as this fire fox yeah, thing is telling us, um, we have to throw paintings into this fire to kill them.
Maybe you can break the ice with them. Well, I mean, I guess kinda. So what that that was hinting at was that these this flesh, as they were referring to it, can accept these guys, as we saw earlier, and blow up and shatter the ice, which will give us this relic, a blue crayon. Now I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, you can't even wall jump off the walls, so. But we have to go work on getting these spirits. This looks like it's one of those owls. Uh, from the Owl Express. I really didn't like them very much, so I'm okay with that. And these blue, these, I was gonna say blue, I guess purple lines are to tell you roughly where um, each of these guys are. Luckily we did just blow up some guys. Wait. You are the badge seller. Why is the badge seller in prison with one of these? That's a bit sad. Poor badge seller. You were so helpful for us, but I guess... I guess that's it. And what's up there? I actually can't tell what that last one is. But while we're here, I want to get that yarn as well. We need as many yarns as we can for a lot of our stuff. Not quite high enough. Alright. So we're gonna have to bounce with it to do that. Alright. Oh. That spiderweb doesn't do anything. I thought it would stop me from walking around. I guess not. Take it. I will take the free stuff. Oh! Bachelor's here. Have you come to make another? We can get the scooter badge. We can do a beam attack, and we can hear vague mumbling. Well, I want the scooter badge. I will spend all that because now a scooter is going to be a little easier than the sprint hat. It's going to make us go a little faster, I think, even. Bye -bye. But now we don't have enough money for anything else. I still want this item though. Oh, did that, that work? What? Yeah, I threw it the wrong way, but uh, because we bounced off the right thing, I guess. We will take the ice yarn. Also, apparently, we could have thrown it up on this side, where there already was a fruit for us to work with. Awkward. Was that 12? No, that was 11. Alright, so we have one more we need. Uh, which is right here? Nope. Can't quite reach that one. That one looks doable, though. If there were any dwellers near here, whatever they're called. Yeah, I'm not seeing any that'll be close enough for this thing's timer. Yeah, if this is the closest one, I don't know. That was easier than expected. And we get the 12 ice yarn giving us enough to stitch as well as mask. Let's equip it right now. So what's special is, it makes a force field thing, which will change some of what you can see. However, we're getting pretty low on health, so let's just uh, work on going through the game regularly. I don't think you ever technically need this hat. I think there's always going to be um, some way to get past what you need. Um, because usually there will be, uh, you'll see it later in the game, um, something you can hit that'll have the same effect. It's just nicer when you can carry it yourself. 
how do we get up there? I guess uh, going up on this first. Yeah, all right, that'll get us up to the second level. First and foremost, we'll get this. More ice yarn. If I knew Matt was there, I, I probably would have been the same. Thing, honestly speaking. Nope, can't make that jump. I was hopeful. I was hopeful. But let's get the last um, painting to continue lighting up. Oh, I just tried to sprint. That's one thing I don't like, is that you can only use um, your abilities um, with one at a time. I'd love to be able to sprint and, um, like, so yeah, here's our scooter. Look how much faster that is. And we already saw there was another uh, fire spirit. Alright. We have cleared out the fire spirits. They did. They did. Uh, well, I mean... I guess they were suffering beforehand, but it's it's done. We actually saw one of the more of them when the fire was under. Honestly, I, I like that deal. Getting to stay alive, probably for the best in this game. You look like you can handle multiple things on your plate at once. Let's give you an additional contract. Oh, how nice of you. Pick one, alright. So there's a choice between subcon male or. Um, so we have Act 4 or Act 5. We didn't get Act 3 in this one, so I guess let's do Act 4 because it makes more sense. It's closer. We have Act 1, Act 2, Act 4. Oh, that's excellent. That's, that's one of the big downsides to uh, contracts. It's like, he is not obligated to do pretty much anything in this state. But, at least he gave us one of our time pieces, and that's where we're actually going to end out this part. So thank you guys for watching A Hat in Time, and enjoying the subcom forest with me. It's, it's a nice forest. Pretty relaxing, we got to kill some fire spirits, you know, good times all around. Um... Each time we get out one of these uh, timepieces now, the um, secret layer of Hat Kid is going to update. So, um, now that we can actually come back to our bed, let's put on our ice hat, let's take a look what this newest one was. Because you saw our last one was about DJ groups. Oh, what is this place? There's spiders and ghosts and a big creepy grinning, oh, creepy, creepy grinning person thing. So they're gonna kill me, but there may be signs of paper instead, and I think he took my soul or something. Say what? Out my voice. But that's where I'm gonna be calling it. So, thank you guys all for watching A Hat in Time, and have a good night.